hi guys welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you for always coming out here may god bless you all the governor of Kano state governor ganji day boost he said vote for apc from one local government in Kano is higher than entire southeast regional ganji day in an interview on channel tv on monday said it was the People's Democratic Party that would suffer the emergence of Obi in the Southeast because it would divide the votes of the region, thereby leaving room for the APC presidential candidate Bola Tinubu to emerge as the winner. The Kanu State Governor Adulai Ganjude has said the emergence of Peter Obi as the presidential candidate of the Labour Party is a plus to ruling party the All Progressive Congress, APC. Ganjude, in an interview on Channel TV on Monday, said it was the People's Democratic Party that would suffer the emergence of Peter Obi in the Southeast because he would divide the votes of the region, thereby leaving room for the APC presidential candidate, Bola Tinubu, to emerge as the winner. The governor said, the emergence of Labour Party with Obi as the presidential candidate, I think, is a good omen to APC because our major competitor contender is PDP. And look at it. The Southeast, the vote we got from Nasarawa local government in Kano Metropolitan was much higher than the total vote. APC got in the five states of Southeast. So you can see that if there is any problem politically in Southeast, it is the PDP that will suffer the march. So the emergence of Peter will be from Southeastern part of this country. I think it is something that it is the vote of PDP he will snatch away. He added that the emergence of Mosa Kwanukwasu as a presidential candidate of the new Nigerian political party, NNPP, was no way a threat to the APC. Kwanukwasu is a presidential candidate. There is no doubt about that. But equally to say that we are fully on the ground and many of its people are now in our political party. So you can see that if Kwan Kwasu thinks that he can win the party, let him hold a rally or march like this, I assure you, compare them, compare what we have and if he can do. When you talk of the Kwan Kwasu group, you will see that the group too has reduced in strength because a great number of them remained and come back to APC after saying that their party will go nowhere in the presidential election, even at the state level, we will, we will swing it out. But I assure you, APC is a party to beat in canon state, he said. Hmm. Honestly, these people, they have already concluded arrangements to rig the next year general election. But <laughs> trust me, now God passed them. You understand? Well, PDP brought this to themselves. You see, this is life for you. You cannot eat your cake, you know, and get it, and get it back. What is happening to PDP, to Atiku Abubaka, is what he uses hands to, you know, to fetch for himself. This is what you get when you are desperate and greed have eaten over you. If PDP had allowed the, the Southeasterner among them, as Peter Obi, to clinch the, 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 the party's presidential flag bearer, I believe by now PDP should be sleeping. You understand? But look at it. APC is now saying uh, the, 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 the election is between them and the PDP. <laughs> I don't know what they have to tell Nigerians and those people who are still clapping for APC and PDP. Make them wake up. 
I don't know what they have to tell Nigerians that will make them to, that will make Nigerians to vote them back to power, unless those who, who have you know uh, these are that's that's that selfish interest what they will gain if APC get back to party uh, get back to, to power in 2023. You understand? Today, about 100 people you know were kidnapped in uh, Zafara State, mostly children from 14 to 16 years children and women this is all it has been happening in the north and all that nobody see the same northern as they follow apc with all these things they are suffering in their region they are too sure because they have a way of manipulate manipulating their people that is why they don't want them you know to have an awareness whatever they say they want them to believe. You understand? So, guys, what's your take concerning this? Ganju Day, in an interview on Chinese TV on Monday, said it was the People's Democratic Party that would suffer the emergence of Peter Obi in the Southeast because Peter Obi would divide the vote of the region, thereby leaving room for the APC presidential candidate Bola Tinubu to emerge as a winner. The Kanu State Governor, Adulai Ganjude, has said the emergence of Peter Obi as the presidential candidate of the Labour Party is a plus to the ruling party that the All, the all uh, Progressive Congress, APC, will win the 2023 general election. The Governor said the emergence of Labour Party with Obi as the presidential candidate, I think, is a good omen to APC because our major competitor contender is pdp and look at it what is our political investment in the southeast the vote we got from nasarawa the local government in in kano metropolitan was much a higher than the total vote apc got in the five south southeast of east okay was i beg your pardon the vote we get from nasarawa local government in kano Metropolitan was much higher than the total vote apc got in the five states of southeast so you can see that if there is any problem politically in the southeast it is the pdp that will suffer you know the the much so the emergence of Peter will be from the southeastern part of this country. I think it is something that it takes the vote of PDP. He will snatch away. So, guys, kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for always listening. Bye for now.